Good morning, and Christ is risen. Well, as you can see, I'm, I'm back in the cemetery, um, and I'm standing by the grave of Father Alexander Vinyaminov, who was one of the, the longest, might maybe the longest serving priest at Holy Ghost Church in Bridgeport. Uh, here's his gravestone in Lakeview Cemetery, just less than a mile away from the church. And uh, he's buried here with his wife. So you can't really see the, the gravestones here, but Father Alexander was born in 1880. Uh, he died in 1941, and he was the priest at Holy Ghost from 1914 until his death in 1941. And next to him is his wife, Matushka Mary, who was born in 1888, and she died just a few years after he did in 1946. Now, why am I back in the cemetery uh, again? Well, because this is the, the season of resurrection. And last week, uh, just after Bright Week, it's traditional for Orthodox, and it's not just last week, but during these days, it's traditional for Orthodox to go to the cemeteries, sing Christ is Risen, and say prayers for the departed. So in our parish, uh, on Sunday, tomorrow, uh, I'll be going around to this cemetery with many of the families who have relatives buried here, and we'll be singing Christ is Risen and going from grave to grave, and it'll be a great celebration, which is uh, a huge testimony to the, the joy of Christianity, that even in this place of, of death, or rather especially in this place of death, we're singing Christ is Risen, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life, confessing uh, our faith in the resurrection uh, of Christ, and through him, the resurrection that will be extended to everybody uh, who was in the graves. So that's, that's one reason we're here. Uh, here, by the way, is a, is a picture of Father Alexander uh, from his younger, younger years. This hangs in the, the church vestibule. Um, so just so you know that what he looks like uh, in, in, uh, in life. Um, the other reason the other reason we're here is because Sunday, this Sunday, is known as the Sunday of the Myrrh-Bearing Women. Uh, the Myrrh-Bearing Women were, well, there's, there are different lists of names as who was there, but in the Gospel of Mark, it was Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Joanna, who very early in the morning on the day of resurrection came to the tomb. They didn't, they didn't expect Jesus to be risen. They thought they were going to the tomb to anoint a dead body and instead they arrived at the tomb and instead they found the tomb the door had been rolled away the gate had been rolled away the grave clothes were there and an angel was there uh, saying he is not here he's risen uh, we, we read that gospel from mark gospel of mark uh, just before we enter the church on on pascha night so uh, the myrrh bearing women are honored especially on this day and it's not just the women uh, mary it's, it's the, the Burberry women, but also Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, who took Jesus down from the cross when he was crucified. They asked to take his body, uh, which was a very courageous act because he had to go to Pontius Pilate, the governor, and ask if they could take uh, his body away. They, uh, they wrapped him in, in linen and they put him in a tomb. Uh, so all of those who cared for, for the dead body of Jesus uh, when there was no hope of any, any kind of reward, they didn't expect him to rise. Um, we honor all those people on this day of the, uh, the myrrh-bearing women. So uh, this is a perfectly good way uh, to, to, to do this little talk with you today back in the cemetery, uh, because this reflects what our, our faith is. Our faith that the crucified Jesus, who was buried, was also resurrected, and that all of us who are will share in his in our will have a death will also share in his resurrection christ is risen